what I just did was uh, something um, that I, I, I would say composed. Uh, but these days, with all of these um, synthesizer modules, and you find that when you compose something, it's kind of related to what you are making the sound. You know, so it's not something you have it in your head. You compose something, and then you, um, you sit down and you write something. It's a lot of things. Uh, a lot of times, you explore, you experiment, and then some of these things, you know, kind of uh, give you an idea what you what you need to do. Okay, and from there it just goes on and on. Um, I always say this: um, the modular synthesizer is uh, is has got the question, the what if question, uh, and very quickly, even beginners uh, that I, I, I teach uh, quickly go into this what if uh, question because once you get a basic idea, you start to ask what if I plug this into that. Okay, and then once you start that, it's five hours later already. Right, because yeah, you just go on and on and on, and then you know, um, then you get all this mess of wires, and uh, it's only one sound that you are getting out of it. Yeah. So okay, um, the um, the part of uh, the synthesizers, this uh, particular synthesizer is actually called a modular synthesizer, and um, each section, each panel, okay, it's considered a module. Okay, something that. Um, you can take a screwdriver, unplug it, you know, and actually change the uh, modules. Uh, very, very unlike, let's say, a, a keyboard synthesizer like this. Okay, this uh, where it has all the modules all built in and uh, it's all pre-wired. In this case, the modules are not wired. Okay, you actually plug this in and you wire them from the front. So that's where the um, the scary looking wires or cables uh, come into the into the picture. And um, well, once you get the idea, you know, it is about connecting one signal source to another signal source and processing it and then uh, modulating it with a, a voltage uh, or also on so forth so so that is uh, essentially you know what um, I have over here um, in addition what I've done here is uh, I've got like three different uh, modular synthesizers here and then plus some um, uh, little toys which are essentially what they call step sequences okay and uh, a step sequencer um, well, in, for simplicity, like it produces notes. Okay, for example, it produces eight notes or sixteen notes uh, due to the the common um, key signature of four beats in a bar and all that. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, the nice thing about modular synthesizers uh, is that they are all interrelated and they can connect like Lego blocks. Okay, so if uh, you get a different brand of synthesizers and you connect it to let's say the core over here. Okay, which connects to uh, some other modules over here, uh, it will be compatible. Okay, if you can't find it compatible, there will be another module that will make it compatible, right? So you know, if uh, the voltage is too high, there's a module that brings down the voltage, so it's, uh, it won't burn up with the other module and all that. So there's always a solution uh, for this, and which also makes it kind of dangerous because um, we never finish building our music instrument. All right, yeah, you know, right? Uh, <laughs> so once this is finished. The next thing we usually talk about uh, in uh, in the synth circle is that uh, you, you want to buy a new case. Uh, like for example, Thorsten over here, I bought this white case from him, uh, and um, I quickly filled it up. Okay, so now I'm I, I need another case, right? And then when you fill that up, then it's another case and another case, and then soon you have a whole wall of cases, and then uh, you're still building it. So it goes on and on. Uh, you kind of never finish. Uh, buying one and of course all of these can be interfaced into the modular as well right so um, the the other aspect here is that uh, besides the sound source okay there are also clock sources clock sources are, are essentially uh, beats okay that um, that you can produce like for example if I were to um, press this yellow button here okay so so this module okay is a, a particular clock module where it actually sends out pulses okay in time and uh, of course the pulse can be four counts of eight counts or one and two and or any subdivision of that and uh, I can use that to clock for example I can clock this uh, box here okay and then it actually goes on right so while this is going on I have a, a little um, well the drum machine, okay, which is actually the, the Volca um, beats over here. The only thing I have to do is I have to hit it on time. Okay, so, okay, so this is maybe okay, so this is a little out of time. Okay. okay, 
Oh, this shit, oh, like. Yeah. So, you just need to hit, hit on the right time to get it back in time again. And, uh, over here, of course, uh, yeah, if I can, uh, get them to, it produces six notes, uh, uh rather 16 notes, uh, when, when I hit play, okay, I would get something like, uh, yeah, so I kind of programmed this so just to play two notes, right? Where, um, while well, this is going on, of course, with the you know, uh, you can you know, basically run uh, run all of these um, uh, machines together. So, what you heard was actually four different machines are actually being clocked by one, um, one one conductor to actually produce all those uh, uh, synchronized sounds and all that. Um, with all the modules, okay, you actually can go about creating um, lots and lots of sounds, especially electronic sounds, or even these days there are digital modules that you can uh, put in sample sounds and actually um, mangle them and uh, uh, you know, change all the uh, parameters and all that. And so it's uh, kind of a hybrid. These are uh, known to be analog uh, machines but in these days they're actually going into digital the digital domain itself uh, whereby the modules actually are able to sample and then of course you can send it over to some analog filter and on actually you know kind of have a hybrid of these two things um if you have um read about this or seen pictures or, or watch youtube and all that you'll find that modular synthesizers actually came out way back in the 70s or maybe earlier than that right and uh, those were really where modular synthesizers started coming about right but uh, after that when you know these days in the 21st century these things have come back okay so it's not something that we've just picked up from the 70s and kind of make it uh, new again but it has taken a revolution worldwide okay, if you uh, read uh, around you find that it's a worldwide <coughs> phenomenon uh, and uh, well in little singapore here we are also moving into this uh, this revolution uh, you know, to get the idea of what uh, what all these can do, so um, with with that, uh, you find that uh, I guess the new portion of the twenty first century, what it does to the old modular synthesizers is these days uh, iPads can even be used to interface with synthesizers. Um, these modular synthesizers, so that's new. Okay, that's not something you can do way back in the seventies, but uh, these days you have iPads actually. Uh, being able to generate control voltages that will be able to actually control uh, such things. So, so it's going to hybrid and things are going to get a little more complicated or a, a little more advanced and uh, well, uh, all the better for us uh, when we start learning about all these things. So um, what I have uh, or what you heard earlier is not um, particularly uh, this kind of modular synthesizer is something that I was trying to find an identity, you know, to um, to create my own music. So being Asian, I try to you know, come up with something more uh, Asian because uh, lots of this were, you know, um, most of us grew up with very Western based um, um, synthesizer sounds. So I was just trying to look into gamelan like stuff and all that and uh, with some electronics, mm, drum machine and all that. So this is something that uh, it's very, I would say, a very pitched based. Um, in the modular circle, there's this thing called the East Coast and West Coast sound. Okay, uh, so just that you know, uh, the East Coast, okay, due to some historical thing which I, I won't go into, um, it's more pitch based. There's a chord progressions, there's melody, there's you know, all this um, playing and all that. Uh, and then there's a West Coast sound, which is very much um, just sound. Okay, so the composition is sound based. That means you play as little notes as possible, or you don't play any notes at all, and then you just listen to the sound, okay, and appreciate that. So that's West Coast sound, and of course the East Coast will be um, a little bit of what I, um, I well, I grew up with East Coast sound, so I kind of like, you know, no, no matter what, when I try to do the East uh, West Coast sound, uh, it's a little difficult for me to appreciate it. Yeah, I think most of us in Asia uh, have a, a tendency to appreciate the East Coast sound. Uh, we want more notes, you know. Um, so in, in any case, um, uh, my two friends, uh, David and John, uh, who will be uh, performing later, uh, they'll give you a, an idea of um, East Coast and West Coast.
okay, the David will actually come in with a little more East Coast sound. Okay, so so uh, I think yeah, that's just a little gist of it. Okay, uh, I, I won't have much time because I like to pass it over to um, David, who's next. Okay, uh, so he'll he'll be performing on his um, music instrument. Okay, which is also a synthesizer, but I don't know how to use his because it's completely different from mine. Okay, and that's the nice thing about synthesizers or modular synthesizers because everyone has a different set. Okay, and you can build up your own. Uh, in this case, um, we will probably um, open for question and answers um, later on. Okay, as um, you listen through and um, you know, enjoy yourself or get intrigued by what we are doing, uh, just note down what you want to ask because uh, yeah, it'll be maybe an hour later or so. All right. So uh, without any further delay, I'll just like to introduce David. Okay, David is a yeah. Um, big hand for him. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm in this industry of you know, this music industry and all that. But uh, I realized when I was getting to sense and all that, uh, there uh, there are uh, a lot of people okay who are doing this for hobby sake. Okay, so if you think that no, I I don't need this, you know, why would I want to do with all this? But uh, I think most of the time you find that most of the guys who are doing all this are actually doing this for hobby, for fun. Okay, so uh, he's doing this for fun. He's not a, a music professional. Okay, he's doing something else <laughs> completely. And I, I met a lot of uh, uh, people, right, doing something else, and then um, they are wonderful at this, right? So you okay? Okay, so he's ready. So uh, East Coast um, kind of um, brand of synthesis. Okay, so David, big hand for him. 